Hi friends, welcome back to Feed the Sheep Podcast. I'm your host, Kelsey Keeling with Balanced Ruminant Grazers. I'm a wife to my soulmate, Ryan, mother of four, daughter of Christ, who is always working to be a Proverbs 31 woman. Join me as I share my passion for hair sheep by taking you along as we work to create a balanced sheep flock of Australian whites in South Central Kansas. I hope these episodes and conversations not only educate you, but inspire you to add our sheep to your farm someday. Now let's get to talking sheep. Hi guys, welcome back to the podcast. So I wanted to um, go in today and talk about uh, um, our sheep operation and where we're at and um, where we um, are planning on going with our sheep um, in the future and just kind of dive in to all that that I will be bringing you guys along for um, in the next year. And I'm just excited. I've always really had this passion to like document what we're doing on our farm. And I have no idea. I think my husband kind of thinks I'm crazy. If you go back to like our first video or the first videos that I posted on our channel, it's, um, kind of like blogging with our kids. And, um, since then I've decided not to really post our kids on the internet for various reasons, as you could, um, guess why, you know, just, I don't know. I just don't want to expose them, but, um, uh, I just, I don't know. I've always had this passion for documenting it in, um, our farm and obviously it's come a long way <laughs> from where it started and there's a long way to go and I'm just excited to be bringing you guys along and hopefully helping you along the way, um, uh, with your sheep flock. So, um, where we're headed with our sheep. So we decided to start with a Katahdin base. Um, like I said, the next, um, hundred episodes that I'll be doing are all about, um, our sheep flock or begin becoming a beginning sheep farmer, different things that you need to know. And most of those videos are just going to be based off of, um, things that we've learned, um, the hard way or just things that we've learned throughout the two and a half years that we've had sheep. Um, but we decided, decided to start with a Katahdin base of, um, like good hardy use, uh, for our sheep flock. And, um, of course, then we were faced with the decision of what ram are we going to, um, put with him? Like it's not already hard enough to, um, you know, decide what sheep you want to go with and then what, where you want to source those sheep, but then you have to decide like, okay, what, what are the true genetics that we're going to be bringing into the flock? And that's pretty serious, uh, you know, um, decision to make if you are, not doing this just for a hobby, but if you're trying to build a profitable sheep flock. And so, um, long story short, maybe I'll go into another video, but we, um, ended up purchasing an Australian white ram from the gentleman that we, um, purchased our livestock guardian dog for, from, uh, he just had, was getting into the breed himself. And then he, um, was like, well, if you guys need a ram, I'm going to be selling, uh, these, there's a few to pick from. And we're like, huh, okay, well, um, we'll, we'll think about it. And we did. And, um, after doing our own research on the Australian whites, we decided to go ahead and dive in. And, um, you know, since then we have just been blown away with the breed and very excited to help bring them to the United States. Um, if you don't know about the Australian whites, they were developed in Australia and, um, They are still, so this is 2023, um, I'm filming this in, um, recording this in, what is it? August now, beginning of August. And they are just starting to kind of pick up, but still there are not very many. Um, This coming uh, breeding season, we will be doing embryo transfers with the Australian whites, um, embryos that were brought straight over from Australia. So if you um, are interested in that, if you're on the YouTube channel, be sure that you're subscribed. If you're on the podcast, just keep listening or go um, check out the show notes and uh, I'll have our YouTube linked down there so you guys can follow along as we do the embryo transfer process. But um, but yeah, our, our goal is to breed up to Australian whites. Um, the idea of just embryo transferring everything sounds 
great and lovely or just purchasing Australian whites, but they are quite pricey because they have been brought in from Australia. So um, that is kind of off the table for us as beginning sheep farmers. I had one guy call me and he was asking me about purchasing sheep. This was a while back, but he said, well, you know, I think I'm gonna just try to make sure that I can keep the sheep that I have alive and then I'll decide if I'm gonna um, go with, you know, a pricier ram uh, and um, uh, make sure, yeah, just essentially make sure that I can keep these sheep alive first, make sure that I get the, get the bumps out of the road before I dive in uh, head first. And I was like, I totally understand that. I am the type to dive in head first and get like, you know, we just, went this last September and um, bought 50 more sheep and uh, that had its um, growing pains and they are no longer on the farm for right now. They're sent off for custom grazing because we went through a drought and just they'll be coming back soon. But um, yeah, I've, I was learning the hard way on a few things like that. But um, yeah, we will be breeding up. That's where I was. Um, we'll be breeding up to Australian whites uh, from our Katahdin U base. And I feel like that is, after talking to some different breeders and stuff, I feel like that's gonna be the best way for us to go because bringing these um, embryos over from Australia, um, even though they're in tough environment over there, um, you know, dry land and stuff, uh, and they're hardy sheep, it's gonna do so much more for our uh, flock to make sure that they are um, raised on this ground, this type of forage that we have. Um, I really just, I'm so excited for the Katahdin base to, um, you know, bring out those motherly instincts and um, uh, yeah, bring out the hardiness. And not that the Australian white isn't hardy, but like, I just feel like it's gonna give us, give our um, balanced ruminant grazers, our sheep flock an advantage. Um, uh, five, six years from now when we have full-blooded Australian whites. And um, it is a way longer process than just, you know, going and buying a sheep than uh, like with those genetics. Breeding up uh, takes at least five, five generations, um, but I think it's going to be worth it. I know it's going to be worth it. I just am a very impatient person and, you know, that's just how life goes sometimes when you when you're impatient, you just want it all at once, but that's, that's not how it goes. So, okay. That's, that's pretty much all that I wanted to talk about with, um, where we're headed with our sheet block. Like I said, we'll be sharing more on it, um, with, uh, with the coming videos and stuff on our YouTube, um, with our embryo transfers and, um, you know, when we eventually are able to sell some, uh, genetics we will let you guys know okay so the scripture of the day for this podcast episode is near and dear to my heart um it is james chapter 1 verse 2 through 4 and i'll read it first and then kind of talk about it and it says uh count it all a joy my brothers when you meet trials of various kinds for you know that the testing of your faith produces steadfastness and let steadfastness have its full effect that you may be perfect and complete, lacking in nothing. So I said in um, the trailer that we just went through a drought and I don't know if I would have been able to get through that whole drought with without this verse and just repeating it and thinking of God's plan for our farm and for our family and knowing that he had us in his hands and um, knowing that uh, um, every trial that we were going through was just going to make us more grateful for when we came out the other side. So I just feel like this is such a good one to, um, to hold close to your heart. Okay. Well guys, I will see you in the first official episode of the beginning sheep farmer series. Like I said, this is a hundred episodes, um, to educate you guys on bringing sheep to your farm. And I'm so excited to take you guys on this journey. So, okay. We will see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much. Bye.